How's it going guys? Tyler here from Kitsap Bushman. And today I'm going to talk to you about what appears to be a lifeless dead stick behind me. Now, this may look just like an old spiky stick of some kind of tree, but it's not. This is actually alive and it's a very unique species to this area. This is called Acatillo or Coach Whip. It's a plant that grows here in the southwest and in Mexico. There's only two species of this that grow here. There's the coach whip and then there's another species down in Mexico that grows into like a tree. A couple fun facts about this plant. This plant um, was used by Native Americans and settlers down here to make fences for goats and cattle for hundreds of years down here. As you can see, it's covered in these little spikes like that. And they hurt if you get stabbed by them. Very commonly used down here. Um, flowers of this were ground up and used for medicinal purposes by the Native Americans here and also the pioneers ground them up and made them into a meal to eat which is basically all they're good for but this plant is an indicator species that you are in either the Sonoran or the Chihuahuan desert so it's very cool to see out here I think and uh, over here as I was walking by I noticed but there was another very cool and somewhat rare plant down there, which surprised me to see. So what we have here is a fire barrel cactus. Now the reason why it's not just a regular barrel cactus is these thorns are red and magenta. It's a beautiful, beautiful cactus. These are only found here in Arizona and parts of New Mexico and part of northern Mexico. It's a pretty, I think, a very interesting cactus to see out here because, I mean, first off, I think the thorns are absolutely beautiful, and second, it's just not something you see out here every day. Uh, it's a bit rare, as I said, but it's not uncommon to see these out here. I just think that this is a beautiful cactus. It's got the same properties as the regular barrel cactus, just the thorns are a lot prettier and this one stays a lot smaller. Really cool to see out here, guys. It's actually kind of uh, got the short end of the stick when it comes to botany and being well known out here in the desert. This is creosote bush or greasewood. And uh, as you can see, the leaves are very oily and waxy. This actually has one of the highest contents of natural oils in creosote, obviously, as its name suggests of any plant in the world. It's got 74 different chemicals in it that bacteria, fungus, and other little nasties do not like. So you can use this for smudge fires. And also scientists in California are trying to use the properties of the creosote bush to treat cancer, which I find very interesting. Um, the natives down here used to distill creosote kind of like you can distill birch bark to get oil from it, and almost like a grease that they would use for making patches or anything like that. So this plant's really good to have and I think that this plant is a bit underrated when it comes to its importance out here. Without the creosote bush, just about all life in this desert would not exist. Most of the animals out here are able to eat it. People aren't unfortunately. But it covers the Chihuahuan, Sonoran, and Mojave deserts and no one really recognizes it. So the importance of the creosote bush can even be seen as far back as the Sonoran Desert Ancestral Peoples, the Zuni, uh, the Hopi, the Gila, and other tribes like that. In their creation stories, they tell of a creator using clay and the grease and oil of the creosote bush to help create the earth and create man. I just find this plant fascinating and I thought it would be worth talking to you guys about it and maybe give you a little bit of a rundown as to how important this plant really is. So this is the last plant I'm going to talk to you about today. This is Cat's Claw Acacia, a very cool plant that grows here in the southwest. As I said, it's an acacia species, one of the various species that grows down here. This one's just more common than most. But uh, a couple quick facts about this plant. This plant has curved seeds that when they're young look like cat claws, which is where it gets its name. And these seeds were eaten as fallback food for native peoples that were moving through here. But the thing with these seeds is they have a bunch of compounds in them that make them somewhat toxic for you to eat and they cause gastrointestinal upset, which is not good to have while you're moving through the field. So they're only eaten in times of de desperation. Another thing about this plant, the natives down here, because the wood is toxic, 
but the natives down here used the wood of this to make rabbit sticks for hunting small game like whales, obviously rabbits, uh, ground squirrels, and pack rats, which is very interesting. So, very, very cool plant, I think, out here. So, and also this was used in northern Mexico to make fences to keep mountain lions and coyotes from attacking goat herds, especially down along the Sea of Cortez where goat herding is very common. So, that's about all we're going to have time to talk about today. It's getting to be about 108 out here right now, pushing 109. So, we're going to have to wrap this up and get out of here soon, but if you know, if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And always thank you guys. Have a good day.